okay guys uh, now let's solve this problem this is a little bit trickier uh, and I found many of the students find it confusing so let's do it a train speeds uh, past a pole in 15 seconds and a platform uh, of 100 meter long in 25 seconds now what is the length of the train now the problem regarding this 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 problem uh, this math actually is that uh, in most of this uh, math math regarding train and its distance and everything either they they tell you the length of the train or they uh, tell you the uh, the speed of the train but in this case none of these two things length or speed none of them are disclosed we don't know any of them that is creating the problem critical right so the four options are provided and, and the D option is the data inadequate. So many of the students by looking at this problem they find the length is not provided, speed is not provided, so it's definitely going to be data inadequate. But I'm telling you uh, this is not data inadequate because they are providing you the length of the platform. And once they provide you the length of the platform, you should know the train which is passing the platform, the relative speed obviously the relative distance covered by the train is going to be the distance or the length of the platform plus the length of the train we all know that right so there is a way to find it but if they won't provide you the length of the platform then there is no way to find it then the answer should be data inadequate okay so let's begin so in this case as both of the thing are not provided so we need to take it let's say the length is x meter and the speed x is y meter in this case so we need to find both of them two variables x and y but we cannot work with two variables we need to convert it into one how can we do this let's let's find it out they provide us that a train passed a post in 15 seconds so post is obviously an inanimate object it is a point here this is a post and the train passes this post in 15 seconds and the time is provided which is 15 seconds right we know the speed of the train is y meter per second right so if this is the case right so y meter per second is the speed so it travels y meter in one second and it says is that it takes 15 seconds to pass this post so what do we mean by passing a post right what is the total distance covered if we look at this scenario if one point is constant or moving whatever and another point is migrating like the train and the post or the train or a stagnant something like stagnant people or anything the total distance covered in this scenario is the length of the train itself right so here the total distance covered is the length which is x right and they covered this distance x in 15 seconds right the cover so what is the speed here distance x is covered in 15 seconds so this is going to be the speed for the train if we compare the migration of the train uh, relative to the pole or the post here this is the pole anyway okay now the second thing it also passes a platform of 100 meter long in 25 seconds so here it is Similarly, the platform is there and train is moving and the train is moving this platform in 25 seconds. So what is the total distance covered in this case? Again, the total distance covered in this case is going to be the length of the platform which is 100 meter plus the extra length of the train which is x in this case, right? x in this case okay this is the case and then this is covered in what is the amount of time in 25 seconds so what is the relative speed here the relative speed here is 100 plus x by 25 and if you find the relative speed of the chain this is the speed assumed this is another speed y right so what is the relative speed here 
one is x by 15 another one is this so let's find it out so this is going to be so let's multiply both the sides with 5 so we get a 3 here we get a 5 here so now it's 300 plus 3x equals to 5x so the answer now 5x mi uh, minus 3x equals to 300 now 2x equals to 300 so the value of x here is 300 divided by 2 equals to 150 150 meter is the distance so here we can find 150 meter we don't require the speed y meter here because we get the speed by simply comparing uh, the distance of the train relative to the pole and the distance of the train uh, or, or speed of the train relative to the platform right so this is the answer p is going to be the answer for it so the length of the train is 150 meter right so that's it and i hope that's helpful guys so the actual take home message for this is that whatever thing is provided if the length of platform is given and obviously a length compared to a pole is provided you can find it but instead of this pole if you find another train then it will be difficult for you to find right so this is the way you can get it.